hello everyone we have been talking about motion of a body in a plane or a two dimensional motion as we have explained in the previous post let us consider a body at the origin let this is the x axis let this is the y axis you know projectile motion or a motion of a body in two dimension means you are going to project the body with an angle that is different from 0 and 90 let us say you have projected the body with an angle theta with a initial velocity u as we have explained earlier that u is not completely either along x axis or y axis therefore that u can be resolved into components this is nothing but the horizontal components ux nothing but u cos theta it is nothing but the vertical component that's nothing but uy is nothing but equal to u sin theta now as the body is having velocity both along x direction as well as y direction it's going to have displacement along both x direction and y direction we can find the displacement using the basic formula of motion displacement after a certain time is ut plus half at square we have explained this in our previous post also after some time say some time t at the displacement along x direction is x in the place of s i have written x ux the place of velocity because in the x direction it has only a velocity of ux half it has no velocity no acceleration in the x direction because only acceleration acting is g and that acceleration due to gravity is acting in the downward direction so there is no acceleration in the x direction so i can write x equal to in the place of ux u cos theta into t this is the equation for the displacement along x axis if it is required i can write an equation t is nothing but equal to x by u cos theta that is along x axis say let me calculate along y axis say along y axis what we can say let the displacement along y axis is y velocity along y axis is u y acceleration along the y axis is minus g why minus g because we are throwing the body upward it's trying to move in the upward direction but the only acceleration acting on it is acceleration due to gravity which is acting against its motion and trying to pull it down and reducing its velocity that's why i have to write a minus g and half gt square i can write an equation y is nothing but equal to u y means u sin theta into t minus half gt square now as i have already calculated the value of the time from the previous equation displacement along x axis let me just substitute it here i can write y equal to u sin theta in the place of t x by u cos theta minus half g again in the place of t x by u cos theta whole square so what happens further i can simplify this u and uh, u can be cancelled so i can write sin theta by cos theta tan theta into x minus g by 2 u square is there cos square theta is there x square is there this is the equation that i have got for the displacement of the body along y axis it's very clear that tan theta is constant because angle of projection theta is constant let us call that constant as something like a it's also clear that acceleration due to gravity is constant to is a constant velocity of projection is constant angular projection is constant therefore cos square theta is also a constant let me call that constant is b so i get an equation now by substituting these constant values 
in this above equation y equal to tan theta is a constant ax g by 2u square cos square is also constant b x square so it's very clear as per the mathematical equation this is the equation which represents a parabola that's it so i have proven that the path of the projectile taken is nothing but a parabolic i have proved the displacement along y direction is nothing but parabolic therefore we can say a projectile is someone which is projected with an angle theta other than 0 and 90 and the path taken by it is a parabola so i have proved that the path of a projectile is nothing but equal to parabola that's it for the post thank you see you back in the next post